canine boot camp. I am still sick, but I'm gonna power through it and do this video for you guys. Today's video is pretty easy, um, for me at least. It just goes over getting your dog's interest to listen to you when they don't really want to for some dogs. For some people, they were saying when their dog is off duty, um, usually it's dogs that were associated with the vest, meaning work, and when it's off means playtime. They don't want to listen without the vest on, and that's unacceptable. I always, always, always recommend training the dog to not just work with one specific tool on. They need to learn to behave no matter what, just like any other pet. Um, they need to learn that I want you to do this, so you need to do this in order to get this reward. Not just when you have this vest on, that's when you can work. Other than that, just do whatever you want because that's when you run into problems. So, I don't really have this problem with Mazikeen. Even if she's not super interested in me, the only thing, she still listens. Um, she just is kind of slow about listening. Like, she'll s sit really slow or something, or she'll take a little bit longer to respond to what I'm asking her to do. But she's never just not listened at all. Gage is probably the one I have more issues with as he gets older. Um, he doesn't want to get up anymore. He doesn't want to come to you. He doesn't want to run around. He doesn't want to sit, lay down, unless you have a treat. So he's not as motivated as he gets older. He's tired. He wants to lay around. And for the most part, he gets to because he's earned that. But not every dog has earned that yet. So um, basically, when your dog isn't so interested in you, you just have to be interesting. Um, there's a few different ways to do that. One, high reward treats, pieces of chicken, ham, duck, turkey, whatever. The dog is gonna love that and it'll really initiate their sense of smell and really get them intrigued in what you're trying to ask them to do. Now that's just for dogs who are like, I'm too tired to work right now, I don't care. I don't wanna listen to you. Mazikeen will get like that, then I just have to pull out food and she's like, I'm here. But when she's really tired, she doesn't really like to listen, so she just, she prefers to lay down. Um, but she has to be really exhausted, like this time of night. So yeah, just a high reward treat if the dog is just more tired than usual or it's just like an odd time and the dog all of a sudden doesn't want to listen for a specific span of time and it's not a repetitive behavior that they're learning, just a high reward treat is going to get their interest in that moment. Every dog's going to have their days where they don't really want to listen, every dog's going to have their moments where they don't really want to listen, so it's always good to be armed with those anyways. Um, another thing you can do if this is a prolonged behavior and it's something that is repetitively happening gets your dog's interest. You're not interesting enough if the dog doesn't want to listen to you. Some dogs need a lot more from you, so a lot more positivity, a lot more energy coming at those dogs. Um, especially if it's a dog that's like, oh, when I have my vest on, I'm working when I don't, I'm not. You need to start re- retraining their mind to understand that they still have to listen either way and create a command for meaning you don't have to work anymore. Um, that's what I always, always, always recommend. Some programs do it where if the vest is on, the dog is working. If the vest is off, the dog is not working, can do whatever it wants. I hate that training. I think using a command is so much better and so much clearer to the dog. And I think it's just overall easier on the dog and on the person because the dog isn't getting corrected and um, not understanding why and the person isn't struggling with this kind of behavior because it does happen a lot more if you're using, if you're relying on a vest to teach the dog to work. So I always recommend teaching the dog a command saying, okay, you're done. Um, my dog's commands are break. They also typically just pick up on the fact that we're out in public, they behave a lot better out in public. They behave on a leash at all times, um, but at home, they listen as needed, but they don't rely on a specific tool to work or to listen. And I think that's a big important thing that a lot of people make the mistake of training their dog, especially service dogs. Um, that's where you do run into problems where when the dog doesn't have the vest on, it doesn't really want to listen. Um, it may completely ignore you and for some of us that's not an option. We can't have our dog ignoring us no matter what the situation is. For me, I cannot have my dogs ignoring me at home. They have to be able to monitor me. Um, pretty sad, but yeah, they are medical equipment so they do have to do their jobs even at home. 
but it's even more fun at home. Um, Mazikeen's been great at that. She just comes and checks on me about every five minutes on her own. If she doesn't know where I'm at, she'll come and look for me. And then she'll either lay down with me or she'll go and play and then come back. So uh, my dogs, naturally, they check up on me. And that's just because we have such a strong bond. And I created such a strong bond with them. And they just have a connection with me that they don't really like not knowing where I'm at. That is another thing. If your dog isn't be being interested in you, it's not really wanting to listen to you. Um, this is going to be a lot more common in program dogs. I recommend doing a lot of bonding with the dog. Even if you feel like you have a connection, that doesn't mean the dog feels like it has a connection. Um, so doing a lot of bonding with the dog, um, a lot of playtime with that dog, just to really build that relationship further. Even, if, even though you probably do have a relationship, I'm not trying to say your dog hates you or your dog wants nothing to do with you. That's not the case. It's simply that the dog doesn't have enough respect for you. And the dog doesn't feel like you guys are fully bonded. It does not fully trust you, usually. Um, but that first one is always going to be correct. If that dog refuses to listen to you without a vest, it does not respect you. Most of the time, even in the dogs that I've seen from programs that develop behavioral issues, if that dog still respects the handler, it's still going to listen to the handler, but it's going to be like Mazikeen and just be a little bit slower when they want to be. So not necessarily like sit and they sit on like straight away. It's just going to be a little bit slower than they usually are. Um, but they still have respect for you. So they still listen to you. And that's a big thing. Um, but yeah, treat your dog like a dog, not a human, not a wolf. It creates more respect from the dog because you're not trying to change it into something it's not. And it's going to give you a lot less behavioral issues in the future. Don't recommend treating your dog like a human or a wolf. Bad idea. But yeah, just building up that bond, building up that respect, getting the dog to understand what you're asking of them. That's another thing. Your dog may not understand what you're asking. So make sure they actually are understanding it and you're not just saying, my dog won't listen to me when it doesn't really know what you're asking of it. Make sure the dog understands what you're asking. Be very, very clear about what you're asking from your dog. Otherwise, of course, it's not gonna listen. It doesn't understand what you want. Playtime is another thing. Playtime builds up a great bond and it is a great way to earn your dog's trust and respect um, and just really create a better relationship with the dog. It's just the best way to help out your dog um, and your relationship. Um, so basically, yeah, playing with them, high treat rewards, and being extremely positive, bringing up the energy. If you're someone like me who's super calm and your dog doesn't want to listen, that's when I bring out energy. I'm not typically an energetic person, but on days when, let's say, Mazakeen is super tired because she played a lot the other day or she walked a lot the other day, on those days, I just get really, really excited for everything that she does. She did great. So it's more like, come here, Mazakeen, yay, 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 you did so good. Paw, yay, yay, sit, yay, yay. You know, everything is a big deal on days like that. But for someone who's consistently having that problem every single day, every tiny thing that they do is a big deal. You also, 100%, you want to retrain that thought of vest means work and to this command means work. Even if you got it from a program, sometimes a program will work with you on that. So I do recommend asking the program about it and being like, hey, this dog doesn't listen when it doesn't have the vest on. You messed up the training, you need to fix the training. I paid you to train a dog, you know, that kind of thing. Another thing, make sure your dog really does enjoy doing its job. If it doesn't, that's when you're gonna run into a lot of issues. Dogs are not gonna do a job they don't wanna do. They just won't. So even if it was a program dog, that doesn't mean the dog still enjoys its job. So make sure that the dog 100% enjoys its job and it 100% loves helping you out. Um, even if it enjoys its job outside of the home, now you're gonna transfer that to the inside of the home. So again, if you do have one of those dogs that relies on a vest, start using it in the home for a little bit and just wing them off and use a command every time you take the vest off to relate that with the, uh, okay, you're done. And then start taking the vest away to transfer that over to the command. Um, so I think that's everything. I think that's everything I need to say. Um, basically, it's just high value treats, playtime, and may have to adjust a few commands. I think that's everything I need to say. Um, it's mostly just gathering the dog's 
interest just like you would with a puppy puppies have very very short attention spans so you just have to really grab their attention so it's basically all you're gonna do with a dog that's not really interested just really grab their attention um, if these techniques don't work for you let me know in the comments questions comments concerns go in the comments as usual I am still sick and we love you